and um, just uh, the background, Judge. Uh, first of all, Miss Cherry uh, believes that she's innocent of the charges. This woman was not a witness in a DNN case, but um, she was uh, friends with teachers at a school where there was some mandatory reporting um, that resulted in a DNN case uh, that resulted in Miss Cherry's ex-husband getting custody of her children. This was very upsetting to her um, because in 2002, in Weld County Case 02-DR-652, um, she was awarded custody of her children. Um, I've looked at some transcripts from some of those hearings. Uh, it was drawn out until 2005, but she was awarded custody. Um, Mrs. Cherry spent a lot of money on an attorney some child psychologists presented evidence at the hearing suggesting that her ex-husband had molested the children. Uh, they were child psychologists that uh, had expertise in child play therapy and they believed that some disclosures had been made by the children during some of this therapy. So it was very frustrating for Miss Cherry um, when in a 2006 JV 237 a DNN case was opened as a result of one of her children having a broken arm and um, at this point she did not have money for an attorney and uh, her husband uh, ex-husband got involved in that case and ended up getting custody awarded back to her she attempted uh, excuse me, back to him, I apologize. And um, it was frustrating for her because she tried to reintroduce the evidence of the sexual abuse. And um, I looked the case up online and she was denied to make references to that evidence. She didn't have the money uh, to, to call experts or have counsel. And uh, she felt that uh, all the teachers um, and the principal thought that she was making those allegations up and thus uh, her animosity uh, towards the teachers at that school. Uh, on top of that there was another Weld County case where she was charged with felony criminal libel because after losing her children she picketed the school and um, with, a with, with a permit. She was charged with the felony but uh, it was subsequently dismissed by the Will County District Attorney's Office. Um, and I believe it might have even been a no file, but there were some police reports um, involving that that made it into discovery in this case. But um, losing her children was the most painful thing that ever happened to her. And um, she has been undergoing a mental health treatment in the past. Um, and uh, she thinks that uh, mental health treatment uh, is uh, something that's beneficial to her because she is uh, in a lot of pain because of what happened and she believes she was treated very unfairly uh, in losing her children. Um, thank you very much.